Hello friends. In this video we will be talking about paginator reports. Um, if you um, are planning to use paginator reports or you are already using then this video is going to be uh, very useful. Uh, what we're going to show in this video is like how to use Power BI data set in your paginator reports and then uh, spe specifically we're going to talk about how to use the date parameters and uh, if you if you use date parameters in pagina report using power bi data set as a source it get listed as a long list of dates so what we're going to do is we're going to look into how we can make those as a a date time parameters where user can click on an icon to to select the date from the calendar and then uh, how what changes we need to make in the um, underlying dax query to use those parameters so we will go through the whole process of how by default when you use Power BI data set and you use dates as a parameter, how does it look like? What we need to do to make the changes to increase the uh, user experience? Let's get started. Um, I already have a data set which we will use this data set in the paginator report. To start, uh, we'll open um, Power BI service. So we're going to pick and to meet up paginated and then I'm going to use uh, sales report and select so that's our data set so basically what does it mean is um, we connected uh, to Power BI data set and we're going to create a very simple report so add a data set here that's called um, sales by product or country anything and then uh, pagina report is our data set query designer so these are pretty much what you do in SSRS, uh, same thing. Um, the process is same, but only what we're doing here is instead of connecting straight to the SQL Server or um, any other source, we're connecting to the Power BI as a data set. So the model loads up. So what we have here is um, all the dimensions and the measures and all the stuff. So what we're going to do is, so this is sales by country. What I will do is I will pick um, from, I think, geography. I have a country column in there. And then I will pick up my sales measure, which is just simply a, um, a sum sales. So let's execute the query. So here you go. So that's our sales by country. If we want further by city and whatnot, we can add more uh, columns in here. But let's. Uh, the purpose is to show how to use the um, date parameters in pagina report. So, what I'm going to do is from my calendar dimension. Where is it uh, here? And I'm going to add a date into my parameter section here. So we're going to say range inclusive. And then also we're gonna actually we don't need to pick any date. And then we will check mark these two points. That means one is from the from date and the second is the to date. If you only pick one, then it will only create a from parameter. If you pick the second one, it will create a to parameter. So we want the sales between the date range. So we will pick both. We check these two uh, parameter um, check marks to to create both. Uh, parameters so from and to so that's pretty much it and then click OK so what's gonna ha happen at this point of time it is gonna write a DAX query uh, which will contain all the information uh, what we need and let's wait it takes few um, seconds to this to come so okay perfect so here's the DAX query we don't need to do anything here so based on our selection it has created this DAX query and let's click OK and now what you will see here is we have two parameters calendar date two calendar date and then we have a country and the sales so let's um, create a, a table here um, insert table table here and then let's bring country and the sales uh, let's call it sales 
since it's a number we will uh, right align it and make a dollar so that's our so that's our um, simple report here uh, remove this column for now okay so let's run it interesting I see so uh, what happened here is go into the parameter properties it picked up as because the date type column is date time uh, and that it, which is correct it works fine but the underlying problem why we're getting that error which we will discuss in another video but I can show you what's happening here when we go to show hidden data set for each parameter it created a underlying data set so if we look at the from calendar date and if we look at the data set properties, what it has here is uh, it used that date column as a uh, as a text in here, and that's why it's giving the error. So what we're going to do here is just quickly, I'm going to change parameter properties from instead of date time to text, uh, and then also to calendar date, I'm going to change it to text. Okay and let's run it all right so now we have a from and to date parameter so if i select from now here is a challenge so if if user want to select a date range so he has to or he or she has to scroll through the whole list and there's no it's not a great experience because in general what we are used to do is click on click on a calendar icon and that shows up and and then uh, then we select the date range so so this is this is the problem like this is not a great user experience what we're going to do is we're going to make the changes here uh, which will um, uh, uh, allow us to create that calendar icon with the parameter which we can then use so let's go back how the report so yeah we see the sales by country uh, so again the experience is really poor how to select a date and and uh, you know, it's it's not great to be have a, a list of values of the date to pick and, and and not very user friendly. So we can make these parameters as a date and time a date, uh, so that we have a calendar icon next to the parameter, and then we will change the text query um, to um, to work with the date time parameter. So what we're going to do is, so let's go in the design. So from calendar date, we're going to change it back to a date time. And the available values, we're going to say none because we don't want it to use this uh, query uh, for the values. Okay. And then we do a calendar date and then we're going to say the same thing, date time. And then the available value is none. So now if we run this, so what would happen, This these icons are now changed into, now we can easily, as in a, uh, friendly user friendly we can pick the um, year uh, 2010 I think I have the data December whatever 31st and we can also manually now type here 2014 12 31 but if we do this we get an error um, uh, now this error is basically when it is running the query if we look into the error so it is basically passing the type of these parameters the date and time the query is expecting as a text and that's why we're getting this uh, um, uh, error so what the fix is going to be uh, it's not these parameter um, uh, um, hidden data sets anymore because these are not used so we can delete those one if we wanted to so, but our main sales by country so if you look at the data set property here, so what you will see here in this query, it is creating these uh, variables in the DAX and then treating that flow from calendar date as a, as a text and doing the whole text manipulation. So what we can do here is we can say where date value from uh, to sorry from calendar date 
and same thing we will do this we don't need anymore uh, and then we need so the first variable is from calendar date so basically what we're doing is we're converting the text into the date value this is a DAX function date value which you can check on Mux or doc and same thing we can do here is date value and to calendar date we have to be careful these parameter name has to be exactly the same what is being defined here with the ampersand next to it so at the rate from um, oh sorry at the rate from calendar date and at the rate of to calendar date and we don't need this parameter so now we converted our value from um, parameter to the date value and in summarize here what we will do is there's a multiple things uh, goes here so we will change it so it's checking if all values select in our case uh, the second variable was to manipulate the all so we don't have the all option now in the drop down list so we don't need that so we can remove this so form calendar date is equal to all we don't need it so what we're going to say is calendar date is greater than or equal to now date value we already did that in the variable so we don't need to convert it here or we if we don't convert it there we can always use it here time value there's no time value we can remove that so now we have a calendar date is greater than or equal to this variable which is already a date coming from the parameter and less than or equal to uh, two date so we're going to remove the all all part of it and then equal to less and we don't need a date value here anymore because we already converted it into the date value into the date and then remove the time value because we we don't need to have that time value here so th this is a little bit like um, um, hard to because you need to make sure that uh, all the parentheses and all the stuff is is done correct so let me just double check filter values calendar date calendar date is greater than so one parenthesis close here calendar date is less than or equal to week calendar date so this one is for the filter and this one is for um, I think I have to remove this one too so I'm gonna copy this just in case something goes wrong we can come back and fix it so we fix the query now and uh, so it comes with the warning message if you directly edit the query, which is okay. So we can go okay. So now if we run this report, so let's enter 2011 01 20 13 and the view report. And here you go. So now we can, we have the option to select, like it's good user experience instead of having the list of all the dates now we can pick the date from the calendar visual and give our parameter value and use it in the report. Let's say if we try um, 2012, 2014 to 2014. And so the number should change. Yeah, so as you can see, see it change. So um, making that, so basically what you, in, in nutshell, what we did is by default, we, we it created the calendar parameter and it associated that hidden data sets underneath. We remove those. We change the from calendar date to the date and left date and time. And then we came to our main query, which is uh, pulling the data for the sales by country within the date range. So we, we converted our parameter values into the date values and change the filter uh, to um, to give the range and removed uh, time value and all all other aspect of it and just kept it simple and now um, this is working as expected I hope you found this video useful and you can use this technique in your paginator reports whenever you are using date parameters uh, in the next video or maybe uh, in upcoming video I will take this paginated report embed in Power BI desktop report um, uh, actual Power BI desktop report and then we will also see there how we can pass from and to date parameters from slicers uh, in the from 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 slicer in the Power BI desktop to the paginated report and uh, and embed the paginated report in the in the Power BI desktop stay tuned talk soon thank you